YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, TKK, and we are back with another video, guys. We're going to be taking a look at updating the firmware. This appears to be the first firmware update for the Alienware QD OLED. This was the first QD OLED 32 inch panel that was available by 16 by 9 um in the united states and i believe in all totality around the country the world everywhere um and so you know i've had a good time with this monitor it's been great we've made some content showcasing it and then also comparing it to uh the neo g8 from a two two years ago but um the monitor has not been without issues okay uh, most recently i started randomly just getting this thermal um message saying that it was like not really overheating, but saying that it was having some thermal problems. And so as I started researching, this was actually yesterday it happened. I'm seeing that, man, there's a firmware update. So there was nothing that prompted or, or, or came up on the monitor or anything like that. I do think that's one opportunity that these monitors will have going forward. And maybe that's something that can be addressed with like the, I don't know, the UI within them. Once you connect your monitor to upstream to the PC, maybe there could be some kind of notification to notify you that, hey, there's something available, similarly to how a TV does. Keep it in mind, we get firmware updates on TVs, and I feel like now we're in this place where monitors are starting to kind of follow suit with being like that. In any event, guys, we're going to take a look at the uh, firmware update on this thing, see exactly what it does. We're going to get it going right after the intro. All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. I want to start off first by just talking about this monitor briefly. If you haven't seen my review or, you know, maybe you're new to the channel and you're just trying to check out some of the different things that I got going on. I've been enjoying this monitor since its infancy. OK, um, this monitor goes for twelve hundred dollars. This is a QD OLED, which is different from the white OLED with MLA. OK, those are produced by LG. These are produced by Samsung. Now, that's displays to be specific LG displays samsung displays okay um which are an entirely different company that versus like the electronics division okay it's a little confusing but not really um so this is the first time that we've been in a position to have a 32 inch variant of uh, a qd oled sorry my lg tv was actually i had a g2 behind me and it was it was picking up on what i was saying so for whatever reason it was doing its thing, trying to uh, acknowledge that I was maybe asking it a question. But this is the first 32 inch QD OLED. Now, as you can see, um, looking at just the, the spread from um, Dell's website directly, they've got a few different variants of this. Now, the 34 inch is an ultra wide, it's a little bit different. So like when I was opening up in the intro, I was saying by 16 by nine, um, the aspect ratio of this is your traditional like TV or monitor that you would see. So, you know, you do not have an, an, a wider uh, view with this particular panel. This is a true 4K option. The 34 inch variant is QD OLED, but it is 3440 by 1440. So uh, less pixels. Um, so not as tight resolution, you know, but this has been a monitor that a lot of people have been, you know, wanting for a long time myself included i actually own two qd oled monitors I also bought one from msi put it into my arcade cabinet i'll card that in if you want to check that out but i digress it's a great monitor 1200 bucks now i bought mine from dell directly as i said um this is now available for at least pre-order on um some big box retailers so like best buy which makes it really good and i wish that i would have waited but i have fomo with so much of this stuff i'm like I, I i want it like if i know i want it i'm going after it so i got it through dell um and so you know typically i buy my stuff through a retail chain because i just like dealing with the store level if i have any problems um so i would definitely suggest you if you've waited this long go through a retail chain um if you can avoid you know getting it through dell directly i don't have any partnership nor distaste or dislike from Dell, but you know, I just feel like the best experience is going to be if you have an issue being able to uh, talk to someone at the store. In any event, this thing does have 240 hertz in NVIDIA G Sync, so it's a great monitor. It's been really good. I've had no no complaints with it. Um, you know, I just I have my own reservation, and I know what works for me, and so it worked out to be good for me. Um, as I was making content the other day, I'm currently on my gaming channel using this monitor, the setup that I've currently got, and I'm playing Tekken 8. I'm learning it. And, uh, you know, 
would be starting the, the the setup the the I won't say the stream but the capture you know I kept getting these these notifications coming up on the screen and I, I can't show it to you now but it was just essentially giving me some type of indication that there might be some thermal issues and as I start researching again this was happening yesterday and so ironically this firmware released yesterday so let's take a look at it all right so here we have a look at the firmware again i just went to their website kind of typed it in and uh you know it got me to where i need to be so they've got overview they've got drivers and downloads documentation service events um, but right here this is hopefully the mouse cursor is picking up here but this is where we're focusing on it actually says the importance of it is critical which again like indicating that this is something that you want to have um and so uh this was released march 18th let me just make sure i got my time right yeah today's the 19th as i'm recording this so i'm going to record this render it post it up and so again this was happening yesterday i was starting to seeing some issues uh after researching a little bit it looks like it might fix um some of the problems that i was having but uh what i wanted to do was just go ahead and take a little bit further description firmware update package uh, version M2B104. And let me just check while I got you guys on here. I can read off what my current version is. My current version is M2B101, right? So I have M2B101 and this is M2B104, right? Um, so this may specifically for this important notice the monitor firmware update will take approximately 10 minutes. Interruptions during the update process such as disconnecting or turning off the monitor or PC will cause damage to your monitor, read the firmware update. So again, I'll have the upstream uh, connection um, set up for this thing. It, there's no indication. You just kind of got to download this. And I guess from where it's downloaded, you know, get it, open it up on Windows and then it'll, it'll, it'll push whatever software update it needs to for the monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and get this downloaded. I'm not going to take you through that whole process and then we'll be right back. All right. So don't shoot me if this is coming crazy. I'm trying to screen capture this. So hopefully you can see my desktop. Um, but what I wanted to show you was just, you know, what the monitor firmware um, update utility looks like. So going to put us in a position to get this thing updated. Got the model number, which again is AW3225QF. It's got the current firmware. If, as I was just saying, I didn't know it was going to show this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to look it up m2b 101 and then the new option is going to be m2b 104 um the file checksum is f5 e2 so i'm gonna go ahead and click to update and uh let this thing do its thing i'm gonna pause it and we'll be right back all right so it did take about 10 minutes um actually about eight minutes uh, I, I did try to look at the timer for this because i wanted to speak intelligently about this but uh I'm going to close this and then see if I reopen this, if it, you know, gives me what my current firmware update is, which should be M2B104 versus the M2B101. And it did, it did the Windows jingle, do -do, you know, that it was disconnecting and then it came back on. Uh, the monitor went off, went black, and then, you know, the Alienware um, logo came up with the Alien. And so we're back uh, visually. Again, hopefully this is all translating good because... I didn't check OBS to make sure that I had screen capture on correctly. Um, in any event, we're going to switch transitions so that I can close and then reopen this firmware update utility just to check it. All right. And from the looks of it now, after opening the firmware update utility, it does tell me that now currently I'm on M2B104 versus 101. So my monitor has been successfully updated. Um, so, you know, there's not much information they don't disseminate a lot of information as to exactly what you're getting but you know they do notate that is critical and so after taking to reddit a little bit let's just talk about some of the things that are slated to have been updated all right so i think one of the biggest takeaways from this is that we can now finally toggle like dolby vision and can modify that a little bit more um, i did read some inner workings where i was seeing that there may have been a fix for the thermal um, notification that I was talking about in any event I wanted to put this content together I'm still spending time with this monitor 
I haven't done a full review of it. It's just going to take me more time for me to be comfortable to speak about everything. But I've been enjoying it. I have to tell you that 1200 bucks, not a bad value, man. Considering two years ago, Neo G8 was $1,500. But if you're interested in seeing that video, if I'm not carting it in now, I probably already have at some point of this video for you to be able to check it out. As well as I would encourage you to check out my um, introductory to this particular monitor, man. Like I said, it's been pretty stellar. I've been enjoying it. And this uh, white and blue arcade cabinet behind me, I have another QD OLED. That's the first MSI, and uh, that's been a pretty good option, too. But we got the update going. Hopefully, this helped you out or, you know, kept you entertained. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you're interested in getting any QD OLED monitor, I'd be interested in knowing. Maybe if you're not, if you're going to go with one of the LG options, let me know that, too. I think Corsair is probably buy buying panels from them to have a white OLED. I'm not sure, uh, but maybe if you're thinking of going that route, I'd be interested in knowing what you are interested in doing. In any event, this is what I got. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless, and as always, say, man, max love. We out.